Hi everybody, welcome back. I had a harrowing few days behind me, but now I need your prayers more than ever before. <laughs> I made an offer on a property yesterday. It is small, it needs work, but it has tremendous potential. It also so happens that the tenants are moving out at the end of the month. So I applied for a relatively small bank loan. So that is now all that still needs to happen. <laughs> if the bank or a bank approves the loan, the house is ours. <laughs> now look, it's going to take work and it's going to take a bit of elbow grease, but it will be our own place and worth fixing little by little. So I'm asking you to please pray for us, hold your thumbs, do whatever you need to do, <laughs> but keep us in mind because we really need your support. We really need that little home for ourselves and our pets. Anyway, guys, I do not want to jinx it, so let's rather talk about the royals. Guys, I literally rolled with laughter this morning, but I just want to thank Meghan Markle or Harry Markle for watching my channel. I did the same trick before. I talked at a shot, or in this case, I spoke the truth, just not the truth they want you to know. And then they can't help themselves. They have to respond. They have to publicly dispute it. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I performed the trick once again. And lo and behold, a couple of hours later, it was clear they fell for it again. <laughs> yes, I put out there that people from a certain talent agency know nothing about any productions which are attached to Meghan Markle, which are actually prepping for filming. Yes, you see, there is a prepping process. Find a venue or venues, get permits to shoot in certain places, make arrangements with the traffic department if necessary, Find a wardrobe person, find a makeup artist, find a lighting director, find someone in charge of sound. And in between, you also have to audition various actors for various roles and so on and so on. <laughs> Often, the planning for a production takes as long as the actual filming. <laughs> I've heard of some where the actual planning and prepping took longer. Anyway, what I said was indeed true because my contact reached as far as she could and no one could even say they knew of someone who had been approached. There was actually a joke during the rounds that Megan approached Julia Roberts to play the leading role in Meet Me at the Lake. But that was allegedly dead in the water even before it was put out there. <laughs> Anywho, it is possible that one of these projects is done 100% in-house at Tyler Perry Studios. But, I mean, then who are the actors Tyler Perry may have technical people in-house, but the actors still need to come from outside. Well, clearly the Harkles or someone they know heard my video and tipped them off. And they got poor Bella Bajoria to say that, Oh, don't worry, they have a movie being made, a TV show, and a couple of unscripted shows. <laughs> now, I can only laugh. Two people whose staff at Archwell Productions have now all packed their bags and left are producing a movie, a TV show, and a documentary or two. 
all in one year. <laughs> I really want you to tell me another one, Megan, because I do not believe you or Bella Pejoria. I can only guess that the documentary will be about the Winter Invictus Games in Whistler, Canada. Hence, the reason they are taking cameras with them next week. <laughs> yes, indeed, it has been announced that Harry and Meghan will be in Vancouver on the 14th for the One Year to Go event for the 2025 Invictus Games. <laughs> also, old Bella said they would be working with Brandon Reig, Netflix's president of documentary series and unscripted work. I guess The Winter Invictus will be the first documentary, but according to reports I've read, Brandon Rigg loves, loves, loves <laughs> reality TV and reality shows. I mean, not a Harry and Meghan's six-part series was far from a reality show. But are Harry and Meghan now going to go full on Kardashian and company? <laughs> okay, guys, I'm just talking through my backside now. No one knows anything for sure now, except that they are going to Vancouver with cameras of the lights camera action type. And I love how Invictus has now become a stopgap for Harry and Meghan. Every time they run out of ideas, they do Invictus. <laughs> I wonder what Invictus gets out of the deal, if anything. Okay, guys, it is again 41 degrees. I came home late last night and Dragon Man and I got up at 5 a.m. this morning, drove to our neighbouring town at 6 a.m. so he could join his team to go play in a chess tournament. Then I drove all the way back home to take my daughter to work and in two and a half hours I'm off again to collect the young man from the bus and then all the way, all of 50 kilometres back home again. I'm telling you guys, Dragon Man's grandmother is tired, really, really tired. So guys, until we have a bit of a break, which will only likely be after we moved, and obviously then we close to school, take me only 10 minutes to pick him up and take him home. <laughs> what a joy that will be. Anyway, so after the move, or... If the weather breaks a little and it's not so warm, so one can, or you, at least you have the energy to work until late at night. Well, whichever comes first, my videos until then will be pretty random. Late at night, early in the morning, and likely a little shorter again. But once I've moved, you and I can sit in the garden underneath that beautiful old tree and then we can talk and gossip to our heart's content. But guys, you don't have to wait until then. I will be back much, much sooner. <laughs> so take care of yourselves until we meet again on the next one. Bye.